one. It's a good shot there from Ding. It's on the black, albeit a little bit higher up the table than maybe he would have wanted. There's a big snooker following in China, as we know, but uh, certainly in Europe, the game is big now. So no reason why that World Series shouldn't flourish. Now, well, what has Ding got to offer? We know what a player he is. He's had to sit out a couple of frames where John has started to cure better and Eight. better. And I've seen him before in situations like this where he's not at the table much. His body language can tell you how he's feeling. He's only a young man still. He seems to have been around forever. He's just 21. So this is going to test him now that John's Nine. starting to play. Okay. Just the one red available 16. to him. Well, there may be one in either corner pocket, but There's certainly one to the right corner, and it, it looks as if one will go into the left corner also. He's looked at both of them, <coughs> he's just deciding which is the better one to get nicely on the black. Yes, he might be able to get across to play the black into the same pocket. Little screw shot. 17. Just a gentle little cannon here. Twenty-four. Asking for the cue ball to be clean. We've seen one or two bad contacts. These are the shots, little roll shots, tend to be the ones. There's re referee Jan Verhas. A very senior referee now in this game. He's one of the very best, I always think. Twenty-five. So a chance for a very big break here. At the moment, he just wants to get. More than uh, 75, I guess, just to make it absolutely secure, this frame. But there is a chance for a big break. Well, it's not a bad start, is it? Four reds, four blacks. Sorry. 32. He's not quite straight enough on this red. He's got to be a little careful. Beautiful. 33. one of the players that is in the illustrious group of players that compiled a maximum break. He made one in the 2007 oh. Masters. Won't be thinking about that just yet because they're very awkwardly placed. He just wants to get a frame on the board. Yeah, the only other 147 at that time in that the Masters was for Kirk Stevens all those years ago, wasn't it? With the white suit. I'm talking about won. Kirk, he's just won the Canadian Amateur Snooker Championship. <coughs> Probably still wearing that white suit as well. Great character, Kirk was. A favourite with the ladies was Kirk. 48. He's certainly going to be playing on the black. 49. Now he's got reds on either side of uh, the pack here that go. When he plays a screw shot, He's got a huge area to go in. 
Reds to the same pocket. So no problem at all. 56. It's always difficult because he hasn't won a frame yet of the two we've played. So he, he knows that the maximum is a possibility, but he must get over the line in the frame. That will be his priority. Then he can really concentrate on it. <coughs> Still all those points left on the table. Fifty-seven. Might have to play for the difficult red this time. He doesn't want to. Now he's going to force it around. Maybe just gone just a touch 64. further than he would have liked. There's a couple of reds there that could be a possible plant as well, but he well they're not far off a plant. But he played for the one to the left of the two. I'm just wondering if he change his plan here. There's a bit of distance between the two reds. So he's playing the single red. Sixty-five. Well, he might have to play on it this time, the red along the cushion, but don't think he really wants to. 56. Yeah, what sort of shot has he got? I don't think he's absolutely perfect to get onto the black, 72. but if he plays a screw shot, he could maybe get there. 73. <laughs> Now, when is he going to play for that tricky little one along the cushion? Might be now. No, the frame is safe at the moment. Uh, has he gone far enough this time? This might be a little bit short. 80. I think he's got no. He's going to have to. Well, there's only two shots. He can screw back and leave a very difficult black, or he can try and just power the white through the reds. That's what he's attempting. Now, he needs a lot of topspin to make sure he follows through well he could glance off it so one. played it well. well that was a beautiful shot Dennis well I agreed with you I thought he was going to power it through he played it with finesse this was a really difficult shot because he knew the keeper was coming quite close to the black well there is a prize of 25,000 pounds for a maximum break and of course there's 5,000 for the highest break so at the moment he's attempting to get himself 30,000 pounds and at this stage when you're sitting in that chair you want the player to make the maximum he's had the cue ball clean though he's worried about getting a bad contact again these are the shots that can go wrong now that's okay because with the two reds potable to the left corner anywhere up the table means he's got a shot he's got two choices here of reds depending on which angle he gets oh that's a beautiful shot again 96 97 Is now the time to play for the tough red along the cushion? I think so. He's got a good angle. He might not get a better one if he tries to go around, but it looks as if he's attempting to play for the one near the pink. Has he gone far enough? Yes, he's played it well. That was a, another great shot. I think most players would have played on the other red. Four. So maybe he sees the last red as the easier one of the two, because all he had to do was dropping behind it but the fact is he played it very nicely high was the key with the cue ball high up the table yeah the blues just in a slightly awkward position he's got a few balls to pot before he gets to trying to get onto the yellow 105 that's pretty good as long as he doesn't leave this red straight he'll give himself a terrific opportunity
Well, that'll do. He's got the angle now. If this goes in, he's on the black, but he doesn't want to be straight on the black. 112. Well done. 130. Key shot coming up, as I said, the blue slightly in the way. If he plays down the normal way, that's where he'd want to get the white somewhere near the circle. But he's got to get it absolutely spot on. Now, is he going to come across the table, leave the yellow to the other corner? That'll take the blue out of the equation. No, he's played into that position, and he's played it well. But just one more thing to worry about here. 20. Hopefully the blue won't get in the way when he plays sure. on the green. Because really, he wants the cue ball somewhere where the blue is now. So he's got to be careful of that. He mustn't snooker himself on the green behind the blue. There's John. As Dennis said, really hoping he makes it. Just one more good shot, I think. Well done. 122. Oh, he's overscrewed it. 125. That's a little bit of tension. Oh, he just had to bring it back a few inches. Now he's got to play quite a good shot, but he could still do it. He's got to go around a couple of cushions, though, I feel. Instead of being straightforward, he's going to have to play it probably around the angles there to get somewhere near the end of the line. Just with a, He's got to be very precise with this. Still a bit to do yet, though. John smiling. <laughs> That's okay. 134. That is okay. He's not gone too far, and it is a natural to get through onto the black. <laughs> I don't blame him from. <laughs> Walking away and having a little sip of water just to compose himself. Well played, Ding. One hundred and forty. He made one last year at the Masters. The Chinese sensation Ding Zhongwei has done it again. What a fantastic maximum break. And the crowd at the Telford Centre gives this young Chinese player a standing ovation. And he gives himself a round of applause. Why not? What a lovely smile. It's nice to see that. Well done, Ding Zhongwei.